Hey, what's up? Uh, this is going to be the second video in my uh, previous Sengoku Basar character uh, change and rebalance video. Uh, Ieyasu got some pretty significant buffs. Uh, I haven't noticed anything um, bad about him that they changed. Uh, it's pretty much just buffs across the board. So I'll go ahead and show those off right now. So the most significant buff is his R1 uh, can be done while running and in the air. Uh, here's the running version. Here's the air version. Uh, both versions are ground bounce, so this is basically like a helm breaker with ground bounce. Uh, I've actually devised an infinite combo with that. <laughs> uh, you knock them into the air, uh, you do his L and triangle, and uh, right before it ends, uh, you cancel into his R1. Uh, you land at the same time that they do. Uh, they get ground bounce really high, you jump up and repeat it again. It is awesome. So, <laughs> uh, this character got some pretty significant buffs. Uh, I don't think they did anything to the headbutt, but uh, if they have, uh, I will revise this video later on. So, uh, I'll show it off on some enemies here. Basically, uh, if they're not like a heavy class enemy, they get bounced really high. Well, of course, the computer doesn't want me to do it. Anyway, that's the application for it. Uh, if you do his L1 and triangle, uh, then cancel it into his R1, and, uh, that allows you to do an infinite combo. You just do his forward triangle to get them back in the air. Uh, he also has this. Oops. That's his new uh, aerial charge. Uh, charge triangle. Uh, it's kind of hard to pull off, but uh, it's also got a ground bounce as well. So uh, he's definitely more of a combo-centric character now. Uh, the buffs uh, give him some... Much needed mobility, uh, especially with the dash cancels that he got in the last game. So, uh, you'll definitely be seeing some more uh, footage of him later. So, uh, that ends uh, Ieyasu's changes and buffs video. Uh, the next one will be a Mitsunari video. Peace.